Hello my friends and happy holidays. Merry Christmas. It's almost here. Are you ready? If you're not, if you're stressing out about some last minute gift ideas or last minute decorations, I'm here to help you today. So stick around. We're going to talk about that. Welcome to my living room. If we haven't met before, my name is Angie and my husband and I live in Louisiana and we like to talk about ways to simplify your life. We're not there yet, but we're on the road to simple. We've got a lot of things to do to reduce the clutter in our homes. But today I wanted to talk to you about Christmas time and holiday giving and not getting too overwhelmed by those type of things. I'm going to show you a few of the ways that I simplified my decorations this year and then we're going to get into some ideas for clutter-free gift giving and what I mean by that is to give experiences rather than things. I did a whole separate video about my Christmas ladder tree so I will Link to that in the description below, but that was one thing that helped to make my Christmas decorations a lot easier this year. One of the things that I love about my Christmas ladder is being able to set out special things like this puzzle that I got as a child. It's just the cutest thing. This snowman was given to me by a dear friend who passed away this year, so this is a nice way for me to think about her when I see this snowman. I got rid of my old Christmas stockings and just opted for some simple knitted stockings this year, and I think they turned out really nice. Be creative about finding a place to hang your ornaments somewhere besides on your Christmas tree. This is an ornament that my grandmother made me when I was a child. It's made from a milkweed pod. It's really interesting, I think. So I want to display it every year, but I don't put it on my tree. I find a special place to display it. This is a pine cone elf that my mother made for me years ago, along with this, this cute little reindeer from clothespins. And this is really special. This is a building block that my father used to play with. So Nana picked out one with my initial on it, shellacked it with a special sealer. And so now not only do I have a Christmas ornament, but I have a keepsake of something that my father played with when he was a child. And he's 80 plus years old now, so this has been around for a while. This is also a very special ornament that a very dear friend brought me back from New York where he used to live as a child. And so I make sure I put this out and I don't want it to fall and break from the tree. So I always just find a place to sit it. I like to have a touch of Christmas in our bedroom as well. That's a place we spend a lot of time in especially relaxing at night. So I think it's nice to just put a couple little pops of color in the bedroom. I really like the simplicity of this wreath with the words Noel hanging from them. I just think that's a very nice, simple statement. I have this small little tinsel tree that I put in my kitchen every year. This Santa mug was given to me by my kindergarten teacher. So you know how old that has to be. So this is a very treasured piece I put out every year. This is a painting I did years ago, so I always put it out too. Okay, let's jump from the Christmas decoration to the gifting ideas. So one idea that I have uh, for giving an experience is to give an overnight or a weekend getaway to someone. It could be something as simple as a nice hotel in the town that they live in just to get away, uh, a nice little staycation. It could be an Airbnb gift certificate for them to pick out a place. Maybe you could find a tiny house 
that's available for rent for a weekend, that would be really interesting. I, I would like a tiny house weekend. I'm not sure how everyone else would feel about it, but that would be something kind of fun to do. Something that I think most women would enjoy is a spa experience of some sort. You could give them a trip to the spa for a facial or a massage or to a salon, a nail salon to get a manicure, pedicure, those type of things. Those are great gifts to receive. I don't know about you, but I would love to receive a spa experience. So I think a lot of people would really enjoy that. I have already given myself a little mini spa in my home. Just got myself some cute little Christmas stick on nails. I love them, so that's always fun. Treat yourself to something like that. Another idea would be to give some type of an entertainment experience or maybe a learning experience. Maybe you know someone who's planning a trip abroad or just would like to learn a second language. You could get them a gift card to Rosetta Stone and they could learn French or Spanish. That would be a neat learning gift. And also there's the master class program where you could gift that experience to someone. Think about what you could do for giving entertainment to someone you love, someone on your gift list. There's lots of options there. You give movie tickets, you could give a bowling night, amusement park tickets. Maybe you have a museum near you that you could buy a year's membership to that museum. Concert tickets, of course. There's lots of ideas out there for entertainment. I'm sure you can think of more than what I've mentioned here. Another idea would be to come up with a coupon that you can make for whatever you'd like to give to someone. That coupon could be for, we'll pick you up, take you out for drinks, take you to the movie. We would be happy to provide babysitting for your family one night. Perhaps you could give a family photo shoot and a surprise dinner um, at a fancy restaurant and maybe even include a surprise guest to come along with you. A picnic would be a great idea for a coupon too. Here's an idea for something on a little bit grander scale. Perhaps um, if you were going to give to an entire family, you could give a trip, a getaway experience, Maybe a train trip, a sightseeing trip to board a train to sightsee uh, together as a family. Maybe you know someone who is really into kayaking. Um, you could offer to pick them up and take them on a kayaking adventure. And maybe you know someone who travels a lot and you could opt to give them a yearly pass to the national park system. That would be really awesome. I'm sure you will come up with some more ideas. Think about things that you can give someone that they don't have to find a place to store. They don't have to find room in their closet. They don't have to find room in their garage or a place to tuck it away in the basement in case they're not going to use it for a long time. Think about an experience you can give them that the only place they have to store it is right here right here. It's a memory that they can keep and treasure. I hope you found some of this information to be helpful as you navigate these last few days before the holiday. So if you've enjoyed this, I really would appreciate it if you would click on the subscribe button below this video. Leave me a thumbs up. That really helps me to grow my channel. And of course, leave me a comment. I would love to hear some of the experiences that you're thinking about giving to someone or that you have already given to someone so we can share those ideas with others. So thanks so much for watching. I really, really, with all my heart, I wish you a very memorable, meaningful holiday to you and your family. So remember to keep it simple during the holidays we know those simple pleasures are the best. Have a wonderful Christmas and a blessed new year, everyone.
is my holiday thingies puzzle spring book remember those from when we were kids these are the kind of simple things that i love to put out and be a part of christmas it does you don't have to have dozens and dozens of ornaments and ribbons and lights and it's the special things like this that you can put out i'm going to read this to you it's girls night out for the snow women set and these lovely ladies have put on their best hats for the occasion it's quite embarrassing to the others to be seen with one who has the nerve to wear a neck scarf around her hips but what can you expect from a snow woman with two stomachs how cute is that